currently 7-Eleven and this morning we're going to be sharing with you guys our productive morning routine because we need to get back on schedule like y'all know we've been gone damn near this whole summer let's have a slow but productive morning together Say what I wanna get, cause I know it's gonna get me here every time I step it on. And even though I know it ain't right, then I wanna go and spend the night. I'm gonna brush my teeth and take my retainers out and then I'll be right back because y'all don't need to see all that. Let me do my skincare while we chat and catch up so that I'm not falling back asleep. For some reason, waking up for me ever since we've stopped traveling and kind of like are actually settled down for a little bit has been so hard for me. Like I feel like I'm definitely a morning person over a night person, but I still fall asleep at like nine or 10 and I'm struggling to wake up at seven. Like what is this madness? I honestly don't think that I'm jet lagged by any means so I'm just like confused I don't know if I'm like tired or what and like just kind of like exhausted from like all this travel but I also feel like in my day to day like I don't know I just feel like what I'm doing is so much in my head and like to some it might not be a lot and to others it might be oh yeah girl like you are doing a lot but for some reason I just feel like like I'm so exhausted by the end of the day and I don't know if I just need to take some time to relax. I did have like a full day of bell rock where I just literally laid in bed, read my book, played on my phone, watched my show like all day. And that's because we only got three hours of sleep when we were coming back from New York because I went to bed at like 11 and we had to be up at 2 for a flight that boarded at 5 and our airport was an hour away and you get there like 2 hours early so yeah I was tired fully expected to nap throughout that day at least for a little bit and the girl did not sleep until 10 that night running on 3 hours of sleep but then I happened to get 13 hours of sleep so it ended up working out. I, the next morning, I was still tired. Bear with me, y'all, because like I said earlier at the beginning of this video, it's going to be a slow morning routine. I have been waking up so slow. I also just think I need to kind of get back into my routine, like, fully. Like, even though we've been back for four days now-ish, I just feel like I'm still not, like, fully back in my routine. So I kind of just think I need to wait and take the time because also on my aura ring it says like my internal clock has been off by an hour or so I want to say so I just think like yeah in general I gotta kind of get back into my routine so hence this video i was like oh we haven't done a morning routine we haven't like chatted with you guys or felt like we've been on facetime because we recorded like most of the last video on slow-mo so i figured this would be the best way to fully catch up and kind of let y'all know where our heads are at we did really want to do something for our birthday in all actuality but with all of the content we have do with brands and stuff like that as well as like things planned with like friends and x y and z we honestly just didn't think that there would be an appropriate time to book a trip and we are slammed right now with work it feels like so i think we just need to like settle in and kind of like i said get back into our into our ish get back on our zoom tonight are both 
thrown off i feel like i've never been like this tired like i have low iron so your girl knows what it feels like to be tired quite literally all of the time i just am so like mentally exhausted not necessarily like physically exhausted with how i'm feeling so i'm like <laughs> girl what's going on i don't like feeling this way i kind of it makes me feel like not as productive because i literally work out and i'm like damn why am i tired even though i literally just had like half of a ghost energy drink yeah that's my little update i'm gonna go make my coffee because i've been seeing this chobani creamer like all over the internet and i actually had it before and i think i let it like go bad or something because i kind of just like forgot about it so i purchased it and we're gonna try it out today with the sweet vanilla nespresso pod which if y'all have never tried like nespresso pods or like anything relating to nespresso y'all need to try it now i'm literally telling you it is such a game changer the pods are elite they have so many different flavors the machine is cool itself and yeah i'll show y'all our little setup but now i'm just gonna go make some coffee and kind of look at my schedule for the day maybe do some journaling i want to get back into that too because i just feel like i'm off you know what i mean i just feel like there's like a piece to a puzzle and i'm kind of placed awkwardly on the side i don't know if that makes sense but that's how i'm feeling so yeah i pop my ring back on that I happen to actually have a tan line from, if y'all can see. And yeah, let's go make my coffee. As y'all saw, I said I was gonna use that new Chobani creamer and they have like a bunch of other flavors, I think, like hazelnut and coconut. My favorite creamer is the non-dairy, like vanilla creamer from Chobani, but it is literally so hard to find. Like for the longest time, I could only find it at Cub and like Whole Foods, but I looked yesterday when I purchased this creamer and I couldn't find it. So Chobani, if y'all see this, bring it back. It didn't hurt my stomach and it was so good. It had such like a unique, like taste to it that one was good like it had a strong like vanilla bean taste almost for being non-dairy if that makes sense so yeah i just topped it with some whipped cream and it literally looks so good i love using the clear glasses because you can like see this mm. that's really good Okay, well, actually, hold on. More light in here. Good morning, y'all. It's Lexi. Um, I'm about to pick out my outfit, and I'm gonna take y'all with me because I really don't know what I'm gonna wear. It's ever body today because I hit legs yesterday, and I'm getting back into my routine because there's been so much travel, and I have posted, like, a few workouts while I've been traveling and, like, things that I've been doing or I've been doing, like, a hike and like activities there but not like a set workout so we're getting back into the routine of that um this is my active wear dresser where i have majority of my active wear i really don't know what i'm going to wear let me show y'all because i don't know yet i think we're gonna go with this gymshark bra hi mama I think we're gonna go with these shorts and actually gonna change the bra to this white one. I think these are probably my most grabbed items. The Adapt collection itself is my favorite. I think that it is like the best fitting on me personally. I like my shorts longer too, like almost literally like a biker short. I don't wear like the short shorts. I don't lean towards them because I know I won't wear them. I'm just not comfortable in that. I like the longer shorts. So I love the Adapt collection for that. 
because some I feel like are in the between and I just feel like they ride up. So I love the Adapt Collection. I love the, the colors and the patterns. And then this is the Minimal Sports Bra. I think I have like four or five different colors of this bra. I would say if you do have a bigger chest, like I don't know if this is going to be the most supportive. It literally says minimal. So it's very minimal. But on me, I think it's pretty fine to be honest. <laughs> this is what the back bit looks like. <laughs> But yeah, and then I'm just wearing a gray sweatsuit because I'm on my period and this has been my attire this whole week. So you stay watching our Instagram and TikTok, you would know that On and I have been partnering with Gymshark this entire month and we have our own codes. What mama? You can use code Learman at checkout to get you 10% off, okay? You're late and didn't know that Ana and I are swimming with the sharks. You know that now, and if you're like trying to shop something on Gymshark or have any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask in the comments below. But yeah, you can use code Learman so you can twin with Ana and I. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Now, I'm gonna pack my gym bag. So this is my gym bag. It's from 30 years. They actually sent it to me, which I think is so nice because I found out how expensive it was. It's like, wait, how much is this bag again, Anna? Way too much fucking money. I want to say it's like over $100. So they sent it to me. So thank you so much because I don't know if I, I, I actually, I would have found a dupe, honestly. But this bag is so nice. Like it literally has like rubber on the strap so it's not like falling off. There's a bajillion and a million pockets. But yeah, I have a cap in here, a little Gymshark hat. Um, I have my tripod. I have res a ton of resistance bands. I have my fanny pack because there was a period of time I was going on runs. Y'all, I ran like, tw I wanna say 25 miles in one week and I literally think I blew out my knee. Like right before I went to Mexico and did all that travel, I because my knee has not felt the same. I've been trying to do some stretching and stuff for it literally every single day because Anna like knows some stretches because she tore her ACL. I don't know if I'm just not a runner. Maybe that's the answer. And maybe I'm just like a sprinter and I can walk long distance, but running long distance, child, it's not for me. It's, it's genuinely not for me. And my water bottle. Y'all, I've been using this Awala. I love it so much. So this, and then my Apple Watch so I can track. Cause I don't like to wear my Aura Ring in the gym cause it gets even more scratched. <laughs> so let's go make our pre-workout. It is time to take our pre-workout. If you guys didn't know, Anna and I now have a code with Ghost, which is so exciting. Um, Anna and I have been kind of trying out their products. I want to say the last like two, close to two months. Um, and I literally got this in yesterday. It is their pre-workout in the Welch's Great Flavor. Anyways. I'm gonna try it because it sounds good. So I got a little bit of water. I don't like a full cup because then I just feel like it makes my stomach full. Like maybe a third of a scoop. Nothing too crazy. This smells delicious. I love great. Support or shop any of Ghost products. Use code Honor Alexia at checkout to get you 20% off your order, y'all. That is a steal. 20%, okay? 20%. What's stopping you? Ratio protein yogurt and then a caramel rice cake as my pre-workout kind of snack. Mm. That's pretty good. Y'all, I and I's birthday is coming up. I really wanted to do like some type of like birthday trip, but I feel like with all the travel that we've just done. We literally have not like been home and we kind of just want to be home and like the thing about it is we're starting school soon too like once our birthday hits I know we have two weeks until school starts and I just feel like I don't know we just want to be here so I think we're actually trying to like do like some type of cute like shoot like 21st birthday shoot for our birthday I don't know what it's gonna entail I'm looking at inspo on Pinterest and stuff but I think it's gonna be real cute and I think we're gonna do something with our friends like I'm just trying to make it as like memorable as we can like it's literally our 21st birthday like we gotta we gotta show out so I'm excited for that I kind of been planning because 
it's like a month away. Literally on the dot, it's a month away. So, I don't know, y'all. Excited, but also, it's just another birthday. Let's get into this workout. I'm actually so dead. Like, I'm sweating so much. Period. Workout complete. I feel great now, but I'm actually so <laughs> sweaty. Okay, Lex and I just got back from the gym, showered. I just did my hair, my curly hair routine. But now I'm just gonna do my makeup because we have to go shoot some content, which means we have to pretty much get ready to like go take pictures, which sounds silly, but you know, at the end of the day, that's that's what content creators be doing. So Lexi has a campaign she needs to shoot for, and I have a campaign I need to shoot for, as well as just getting pictures in this cute little like tennis dress I feel like it fits me so good it's so cute and I just wanted pictures to share and post in it yeah that's what we're about to do I feel like we haven't really shown like an updated makeup routine so I kind of wanted to go over like my current everyday makeup routine first I just go in with the milk makeup primer this is like how my makeup lasts all day if you struggle with your makeup like not staying throughout the day i think it's either because people aren't using a primer or a setting spray and i used to not use either and i'd be like why the heck is my makeup like gone and that is why so skin prep is definitely important i'm just gonna use this as a mirror for now i go in with the rare beauty eye brightener i literally use it every single day because i feel like normal concealer creases under my eyes and I don't really like that look. So this is what I go in with. And then I'm also gonna go in with ours Creamy Concealer. This is definitely at the top of my list for like favorite concealers. And I'm just gonna go in and spot conceal. When I do like fancier events, the difference in my makeup routine is I'll actually use like a skin tint or something and kind of like go over my face just so that I my skin's like super even but in everyday life I don't care too too much for that so this is kind of like what I do and then I just like to set everything with some sort of like pressed powder I've used this Fenty one for literally years and it's definitely my favorite tint to it so it matches like my skin tone and then I'm actually gonna use this Giorgio Armani bronzer I love how big this is so I feel like I can get like so much product and like it's not like super super precise but that's kind of how I like the look of bronzer because I just want my face to be like bronze and glowy. Talks and stuff whenever I do my makeup I'm always getting ready like out in my room. I like getting ready in natural light just because my bathroom lighting is like not that great so I always get ready out here but comment down below if y'all are like a sit in the bathroom sink get ready or stand and get ready or 
get ready in like a vanity after that I look a little bit crazy so I just like to go in with my beauty blender that usually has like excess concealer and in any like harsh lines that might have been created from like using such a big brush I've also been really liking Benetint for like the summer just because it, it like I feel like when my blush leaves or like my lip liner leaves or whatever like this stuff stays Blush is definitely my favorite step of my routine this blush is in the shade spicy and it's the perfect like terracotta like tan blush and most of the time if I wear this I'll wear it like by itself as like blush and bronzer like filling in my eyebrows I do get them tinted plus tint them at home but I do find that like brow tint literally does not stay on my face I don't understand why so I find myself like every time I get my brows tinted or I tint them I kind of have to start like going in and like filling them in on my own which doesn't bother me but then I'm kind of like why am I paying for the tint if it's not gonna stay actually go in with the say sun glow this is actually the rose glow this is a new one and i totally spaced it but i literally use this 90 percent of the time i don't it must have been at the bottom of my bag but i love that for like a glowy base because i do feel like i use a lot of powder products so that kind of like make sure that my glow like kind of like stays evenly throughout my face put on some line or some mascara i don't normally wear mascara throughout the day like some people be clowning me for like not having eyelashes and i just feel like because my eyes are hooded and because i have like smaller eyes i just don't think that like a big lash looks good on me i think if anything cat eye definitely like looks the best but i also don't know how to put on false lashes so there's my first issue but i definitely think i want to try i just also kind of like like the more natural look but i definitely think for like special occasions i'd like to like branch out a little bit more what i like to do is my lips and i go in with the house labs lip liner in mahogany is fenty lip oil over it this is the urban decay all nighter setting spray now I'm ready to go get some content, film some content, do what I need to do, and yeah. The camera battery died, but pretty much I took all the pictures I needed to take, and now we're at like Parcel, which is like the Minnesota version of Air One, I think. So we're here, and we just ordered, we got some food, because they do actually have really good food, and then they have a really good like protein smoothie, so that's what we got, and then we have to take Lexi's, the rest of Lexi's pictures. The Canon Merck, Canon G-Sound Next Merck 2, but like low-key, I don't know why it just hasn't been like eating. No. Like it hasn't been like working. No. Like we're having issues with it. So I got the Mark III. Y'all, this camera eats so bad. Gloria used it when we were in Mexico and she got a few pictures of me. And they ate. Like doesn't matter what the lighting is. Doesn't matter like. Yeah. Like I literally looked up on TikTok like camera setting and these ate. Quality is so clear, so crisp. Even when the lighting is whack, it still eats. So yeah. This I got it off of Amazon by the way. But yeah. Vlogging on my phone, holding the SD card right here, so I need to Wait, guard this one in my life. Yeah. No, those are good. These are my Victoria's Secret Pink Picks. I might dink with the lighting because it's a little bit dark, but they're pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so these are like only some of them. There's a lot more because a lot of years didn't load, but like... Those are so cute. Those are my American Eagle pictures. We had to take most of them on a digital, but we took some on the camera. We could take a few pictures of me like grabbing, like pretend, like in front of air, sort of. It's not like awkward. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. This camera, definitely an investment, but worth it when this is literally your job. A thing people don't realize too is when you buy like camera equipment and stuff like that for your, your content, like it's a business expense. You can completely write it off. Yeah. Yeah, because like we are probably going to like vlog on it too a little bit. Like sometimes we end up doing that because like... But even today, all those pictures, that was content related. That wasn't like personal. None of that was personal. All of it was content, yeah. So. Yeah. Wait, I love it over here. I know it's cutie, but there's so much construction. This looks so good.
right y'all we're finally back we were just like getting some packages unboxing cleaning up because we had some maintenance people in here earlier before we left but this concludes the video this is our productive morning routine slash us getting back on our zoom mm -hmm. we had a lot to do today honestly and there's still stuff that we're doing and filming but that was pretty much just the morning early morning but we got so much done literally before it was like 11 o'clock so I, know. I, I love that it's such a great feeling i was kind of beating myself up too about like not getting up at six like i set my alarm so yeah i'm honestly glad that i slept in the hour because i probably needed it and i probably wouldn't have been as productive without it mm -hmm. i know that's right but anyways we'll see you guys next week yeah let us know what you want to see we're thinking about maybe doing like apartment hunting with us because we need to do that so i think that would be like a fun entertaining vlog and of course we would take y'all with us or maybe just a weekly vlog yeah we'll either see. or we know y'all will tune in either way but yeah we'll see y'all next week bye